Oh shit, <laughs> I got butterflies. <laughs> oh look, Quincy made it looking for clan thread. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, it's live. Is it stream live? And here we are. <coughs> with BBR versus the Bush Pigs. You can read it. There you go. All right. And Alva, when you're done, go into the thingy. All right, Mike, uh, are, you, yes, are you able yeah, to talk uh, with I me, man? Talk. Or am I alone on this beast? <sighs> yes, good to hear. Now, what can you tell me about Team BBR? What's what's um, the goal on this solid these team guys? Now, like now that they got the lineup that they currently got, like they're, they're a pretty strong team. They can compete pretty well yep. with your team, as I'm sure you've already figured that out. Yeah, they played phenomenally against us. Summer of Simon really showed that he is not a player to be underestimated. Hayabusa also playing great. I think it was Atomic Spectator and Quam in that match who were just also playing a great role of support. But it was really Summer of Simon and Hayabusa who shined during our clan match against them. Yeah, well, nonetheless, they are a solid team and this should be a good game. Definitely. And what about... um? Or is it Team Bush Pig? Um, Have you had a chance to scrim them or play any clan them, matches versus them? They're probably my team's biggest rival. Like, you know how you got, like, probably BBR or something. I versed these guys a lot from my old lineup to my new lineup. They're a solid team. Yep. They've they've been getting better as well. Like, they they got good strats, they got good plans, and hopefully they can put them to use. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how this um, match goes because these teams, I, in my personal opinion, are very evenly skilled. Um, Lumberjack is a beast on host and off host. Billy Army has an amazing shotgun. Vigilant Sonic, also known as Dazzler, is he just knows how to wall bounce and gets in the right spaces, dodges your shots, and and just he just knows how to wall bounce really, really well, which is what I'm trying to say. Um, what do you reckon uh, these teams are going to open with? A boom push, a snipe push, maybe I sneak maybe one into the frag. Two two or three one to sniper because that's top control. That always helps out. Yeah, definitely. The Lancer on this game with the um, really deep clip, the stopping power, and the intense damage. Who are you going to be jumping off with this game, Mike? Whoever's stuff? first. I'm looking at Gifts of Quam. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting him to go large this round. Looks like he's following Hayabusa right up into there. He's getting some Lancer, and straight away, Billy Army gets taken down. It looks like Tactical is also taken down with Goose of Calm picking him up with a headshot. It looks like Gifts, and who is that? I think the Pax are rushing Lumberjack, they're not letting him recover health with some nice blind fives taking him down. Gifts of Qualm cleaning up that kill. Oh, Vigilant Sonic is trapped in the ink grenade. It doesn't look like he's going to get out of this one. Oh, he's got his ink. He's hiding behind his little rocks at the spawn, and he goes down. I, I didn't get a chance to see what did strategy the team employed. Um, three one. What, did, like what, did, what were you prediction. able to absorb that round? Yep, for three both one teams, for both teams. It seemed like Billy Army just got down within a second, and by the time Tactical, by the time I looked to see, well, by the time Gifts looked to see Tactical, he was already downed as well. All right, I'm going to be having a look at Billy Army as he's in front for Team B, um, for Team Bush Pigs. It looks like he's actually going to opt out his front um, position to throw a smoke and then come in. He's getting his actives out. It looks like he's... Oh, and he takes out Quam with a point-blank active. Lumberjack also taking out Hayabusa. It looks like they're going to move up on Haksu, who's just waiting at the bottom of the stairs. Lumberjack, it doesn't look like Lumberjack knows he's there. Is Haksu able to take him out? No, it looks like Haksu's just falling back to the wine cellars. What is it? Um, Viliami has the sniper. Oh, and Vigilant Sonic has the booms. He's shooting them across the map. I don't know if it's the wisest idea, but he's going for it anyway. Atomic Spectator and Haksu just taking refuge up in the Boltalk. Oh, and they're just getting flanked. This is... Oh, but they take out Tactical. Oh, but Vigil and Sonic not making good use of that boom shot. Killing um, Tactical when he's down, but he also does full Red Atomic Spectator and takes him out. Haksu taking out Lumberjack. It, it is now a 2v1. Haksu fighting Billy Army. Billy Army just needs to hold him off. And Haksu takes out Billy Army with a beautiful headshot. He's full red. He's going to try and get cover and wait for his health to re um, regenerate before he... Goes to fight Vigilant Sonic. Vigilant Sonic knows this as well, so he's waiting as well. 
What do you reckon, Mike? Sir? Who do you reckon is going to win this epic one v one? The host. Go. Host always has that advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Hacked him, man. He played that brilliantly, though. Like he didn't. He knew that Vigilant Sonic was coming out behind him, so he, it was his one chance to rush. Um, who did he kill? I think he killed um Billy. Yeah, I think he rushed Billy and one shot headshot him, which was just great. Really smart play by both these players. It looks like Vigilant knows that Haxu's on host. Haxu knows that Vigilant's got a great shot, so none of them really want to contest this, as it's very, it is still very early in the map, and both teams are yet to really um, feel each other out and have a deep understanding of um, their certain play styles, wall bouncing, etc. I'm not sure how many t times these teams have versed each other, so I can't really um, comment on prior history. Was... Uh, Would you have any more insight into I'm that? I'm not sure exactly how many times I first, but I remember I streamed one of the games. I think it was my first ever stream with my crappy old stream, and they had, I'm pretty sure, three tiebreakers. So that six changeovers of hosts. Oh wow, that's crazy, man. Looks like Vigilant Sonic is going to be—he's not grabbing the ink straight away. It looks like Hey Booster is doing an Arvo rush straight up the side of the chapel. Can he take out Vigilant Sonic unawares? He does! Vigilant Sonic picking up the ink, and Hayabusa, man, he just went in there like a stealth bomber and took him out. Looks like Billy Army is now in a terrible position, just being lanted from the boom shot. Um, team, team Bush Pigs are trying to branch back out. Looks like Atomic Spectator is down. Can Billy Army take him out? Hayabusa does a good one-shot full red. Billy Army not in any position to contest, but it looks like he's going to anyway. Atomic Spectator with a good shot down, um, one shot full reds him. Hey Booster takes him down. It's four, t it's, um, four players alive to Team BBR. Oh, and the Lancer from Haxu is so powerful. Tactical, full red. He has to get back. It looks like Bush Pigs are just trapped up in their sniper. That's your cue to I say know, something, but I'm Mike Stark. to stay silent. <laughs> <laughs> And another round goes to Team BBR. I was surprised they didn't push up a bit earlier. I thought it was a 4v2. They could have pushed up a bit earlier. But it was still perfect timing on them and they still got the round. Definitely, man, definitely. Hayabusa with that really sneaky flank. Oh, not even a flank, like a direct approach right up to um, Sonic when he picked up that ink. He was just not expecting that. It looks like Hayabusa has top control. He's going to be fighting a Ray Tactical, but Haxu has his back, and the smoke is good, and it, for it causes Tactical to fall back. Lumberjack is now moving in. Oh, Lumberjack takes out Haxu. Oh, and Viliami picks up the meat shield. Hey, Booster trying to finish off um, a Tactical while he's on the ground. Oh, nice. Oh, Viliami and Hey, Booster actually down each other. But luckily for um, Bush Pigs, their team was surrounding them, so they were able to get themselves back up. And uh, now this this is what I like to see. Bush pigs really showing some life. That um vigilant taking out um <laughs> what's his face. face. That was, was a good boom. boom. That was from outside <laughs> of the church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that man. Really well done. Like that's that's what I like to see. Um Lumberjack just went straight past Hayabusa who was protecting um Haxu and just took him out through the smoke. Are they doing three three? No, it looks like um Team BBR are going to be doing a boom shot push. Hey, Booster takes the boom shot. Vigilance. Oh, Hey, Booster is down though. Vigilance Sonic can grab that ink. He will be able to take out Hey, Booster from afar. Ooh, and oh, Hey, Booster does get himself back up. And Atomic Spectator really um risking his life to get him back up. But when he's got the boom shot, it's very, very worth it. I'm not sure if um. Oh, Vigilant does still have his ink. Gifts, I think. Did um, did you see who picked up the frags? Yes, it was Gifts. He does have the frags. He's moving up over the boom shot spawn. Now this is key to breaking top control. If he gets some nice frags, it will cause them to move away or get some nice kills. He's moving up on tactical. Oh, and he one shot headshots tactical. Well played, but at the cost of his own life. No, he um, Billy Armour is in no position to pick him off because Hey Booster is there with the boom shots. Haxu's pistol is too strong. Takes out um, Billy Army. Lumberjack gets in there. Hey, Booster takes out Kwam with a boom. Vigilant taking out Billy Army. Get up! Oh! Vigilant going in. Can he go large here and take out Hey, Booster as well? Oh, no. Oh! Hey, Booster is down and the ink kills him. Can Vigilant finish this off? But, oh, but it's unfortunate because Atomic Spectator is just too I'm accurate with that Booster shotgun. That on purpose. <laughs> Cool. Concede so easily. <laughs> hey, Booster, man. He would have known that his team would have been on that pillar and the enemy was in the other one. Hey, Booster is quite the cheeky mongrel. Say that again. 
<laughs> it looks like um, Team BBR aren't going to be going for something as bold as the Boom Rush, just playing standard. Swarm lantering. Billy Army trying to um, stay in the mid this time. Lumberjack having to fall back because he is full red. It looks like um, Bush Pigs are now um, making a push on the middle. Nope, they're just falling back to snipe. They have lost top control. Tactical going in by himself. I don't know if that was the smartest thing to do. His team were in no position to support him, and he may have lost in the round with that. Full Billy Army, full red. Ah, and he just gets taken out. The shots. Now, a lot of people may know this already, but BBR are exceptional at using their lances. Like, they will never just run in. They will never risk um, a situation by trying to run in with your shotgun when you can just as easily lancer, and it really pays off for them. I mean, look at Mercy, a very lancer-heavy map, and it is 4-1. Any good team has to use their lancer to start off with, otherwise, you know, if they keep relying on their shotgun, they'll get owned a lot. It's, it's definitely key, like... I know a lot of people tend to think that the Lancer is just for the tryhards and the new, and like people that aren't good at shotgunning, but it's in the game. You may as well use it. And look at that. Atomic Spectator making great use of it, just downing Billy Army with spot-on Lancers. Looks like Gift is in the frag room. I'm not sure if he has the frag grenades yet. Vigilant taking Meat Shield. Array and Lumberjack do have top. Lumberjack does have Gift the sniper. The Let's frags. hope he can pop some domes. Okay, Gift does have possession of the frags. Oh, a Spectator is down, and Vigilant Sonic takes him out. Looks like it's just Gifts and Haksu um, hiding up in their Gorgon. I don't know if this will end well. They do have the frags, but Vigilant has the um, boom shot. Lumberjack hitting the bodies with the fra um, sniper. The frags are not that great. Vigilant really taking his time with that boom shot. That's what I like to see, because they kind of gave away that other round by Vigilant cross map and booms. He looks like he wants to shoot tactical, but no. He's going to um, hold on to his boom shots for now. Started. Come on, Mike. Stop. Uh, what do you got? I'm, I'm the what guest commentator for, for a reason. Guest. The, the word. Yeah. You got. Uh, I want to. Every the stream wants to know what you think of the match, man. They're all saying it. I don't like, think you're even looking stuff. at the chat because people are replying Mike to what stuff. you're saying. <laughs> all right, all right. Mike, stop. Uh, I, I don't. I don't one way. Uh, well, that's, yeah. Describe well, the current I know situation that if, to us. Uh, tactical aims one bit to the le right. He can <laughs> shoot that bill and get BBR to come out because that bill is one hell of an annoying freaking thing on the map. Oh, I, uh, I got my teammate killed because I shot the bill that's next to the church, and he like like it was so loud for him. He got because he rolled. <laughs> he rolled into a boom shot. <laughs> Vigilant shooting uh, boom just anywhere. It looks like tactical and lumberjack both have snipers now. I don't know if this is wise because they do forfeit their lances. So, if BBR do like a direct push, their stopping power is going to be um, virtually non-existent. But then again, BBR aren't going to push this when Vigilant still has two boom shots. I still think that if uh, Bush Pigs push up with that boom shot on the right ah. flank, well, too late now. But if they did it before when they were still waiting out Gorgon, they could have maybe pushed up with that boom shot and got some yep. good kills. That is, of course, if he knows how to use the boom shot properly, unlike um, certain people. I know, he hasn't been doing the best. He did it. He did some, He did did some. a few good boom... Oh, boom shot ammo has respawned. I just thought I'd mention that. That's, if Vigilant Sonic can pick that up, that is five boom shots for two players. That is what um, it looks like the Bush Pigs are going to be trying and getting. But do they really need to risk it? Like, they already have two boom shots. They have complete map control. Oh, and he gets it uncontested. I thought um, BBR would have their lances pinned on that position, or maybe even an ink stowed away. It looks like Vigilant is getting a bit brave now. Oh, the boom shot is very close to Haksu. Did that do some that damage? Did. No, it didn't. Oh, that boom shot, full red to Haksu. Haksu just trying to bait out those booms. He's already he wasted two of them. And he wastes three more. I really think um, Tactical and Lumberjack need to push up because it's only a minute 30 left. Like, oh, it looks like Tactical is taking my advice and moving up to the left-hand side. Well, his, um, his left, arms right. Tactical, he might not have any Lance Roma yet because he's got his pistol out. Tactical, man, pull out your shotgun. Sniping's not going to get you anywhere. 
Oh, Vigilant with the boom. Doesn't connect again. He only had two boom shots left. He's back to where he started. Looks like Gift is going to be rushing Vigilant. And he's just falling back with his smoke out. I don't know. He, I feel as if he could have boom shot at him and killed him. Oh, it looks like Lumberjack getting lanted by Haksu. Haksu did still have um, a Ray Tactical missing the easy shot. Vigilant, he's got his ink out. I don't know why he isn't just shooting his boom shot at them. This round feels like... Oh, Quam just getting lanced to full red. Can Tactical finish him off? Yep, Tactical there with a the blind fire lancer. He must have picked up a lancer for that sniper. Haksu getting stunned by the ink from a million miles away. Oh, gets one shot full red by Lumberjack, and the AoE of the ink takes him down. Vigilant picking up the kill with a boom shot. I was actually afraid that game was going to go to a stamina and then have to re uh, redo the round, because that, that was a long wait before they pushed. I know, that... that It was like in favour from start to finish from Bush Pigs, and they just... I don't know if they're afraid, or if they just were doubting their own abilities, but it really, it really took them a while to push up on that. Oh, looks like Hayabusa getting some good shots on Lumberjack. Lumberjack goes down and Hayabusa survives. One pistol shot away. Oh! How did Hayabusa do that? One shot. He was full red and he gets point blanked by a Ray Tactical. Instead of getting killed, he gets down but takes him out with while getting down. Hayabusa's got to be smiling after that one. It looks like this could be the round winning, um, the map winning round. Vigilant Sonic trapped in the frags with no hope of getting out. Spectator has the boom. Hayabusa has the sniper. Haksu's got his lancer. Two booms wasted already. Vigilant does have an ink, so if he can, can he come up large? Everyone's saying Hayabusa with that pro WA connection, getting point blanked by um, a shotgun and still getting the kill even though he's full red. Oh, and Haksu gets killed by that um ink. But, spec but Vigilant Sonic, the team, the team, the team fire from um, BBR is just too strong. That's Very well played by BBR. You. They deserve to die. Yep, one zero. Though, I don't want to take anything away from Bush Pigs. They they played some good rounds. They did give away a few, like they gave away that round where um, Vigilant Sonic was just shooting off booms, and then Hatsu got the kill, and then drew out the round. They could have won that, bringing it to. Um, 5-3, which may have um, led BBR to not play so aggressive. But BBR was just on top of it from start yeah, like to finish, I, good. I, I guess you'll see how well everyone goes when they change over hosts as well. Because I guess, uh, I, I, know, I know you're going to find one person that's going to be oh, definitely lag. Especially with, uh, you know, the good old reputation of the WA yeah, connection. Course. But, um, <laughs> it's been <laughs> The dumped. WA connection. And, um, yeah, like, I'm curious to see how they, when they change hosts, because, um, Summer of, uh, uh, wait, isn't someone on their team from Melbourne? Or is that not, person not in the game? Summer of Simon is not That's in the right. game, so I'm not 100% sure, and I'm pretty sure really he's from where he's from. But that was from, be right back for a second. Yeah, no rush, man. And I'm back. Apparently, the chat is trying to compel Adam to stop getting baited. So, Adam, if you're listening, please, for the love of God, stop uh, getting baited. This chat's just been going off. It, uh, we have dropped a couple of, or more like a fair few of viewers since your game that was earlier that sort of failed. But um, we still got a good, strong 34 viewers. That's good, man. I'm glad to see people are tuning in to watch. Even though our match was very, very, very disappointing. I was I was quite depressed. I wrote in my journal, and I listened to some My Chemical Romance before coming in this, so all my teen angst is out of me, and I'm ready to spectate some BBR versus the Bush Pigs. Thrash Ball. We, we got to play one round of... No, a round and a... Like, two rounds was... of Thrash Ball. It, in which Arvo's Xbox Pros and Quincy did not and a say half. a single word. I don't think word. the second round even counted. With Hayabusa coming, he didn't even notice uh, Arvo <laughs> DC. 
<laughs> hey, Boosa, man. I'm actually, I haven't had a chance to um, listen to his commentaries because since we had the legacy match and Arvo yeah. staying over, I didn't want to get capped. So I've been putting it off, but yeah, um, everyone's good. saying he's, he's really good at it. So I'm very eager to hear. And... Oh, I hope so. If, you, if those of you didn't know, hey, Boosa <laughs> did work for Australian Post for a time being, so he will look oh. after you. It right, looks like, what do we have? Do we have... Oh, three going top for BBR, two top for, um... Bushpig, the Ray Tactical getting Lancer to full red. It looks like BBR want to get that top control right away. Oh, Hayabusa keeping his Lancer out, even at close range, and showing that it's very effective. Downing Tactical. Really Army and Haxu updating each other. When you when you fight the host, man, an update oh. is worth it any day of the week. Vigilant Sonic, unable but to pick up the that host, Torpo. You feel disappointed. Hayabusa <laughs> moving into their spawn. Yeah, I know. Looks like, um, oh, did he get the, he did get the torpedo, my bad, he just had his, um, shotgun out when I was spectating him. Oh, uh, looks like Lumberjack and Vigilant Sonic getting pushed all the way back into their, um, locker room. Just a just quick, a, um, just a quick watching the main entrance for this game. Hey, uh, watching the back. <laughs> Wish Pigs didn't even know yeah. that, uh, BBL was hosting, they still thought it was, a uh, neutral host, up until we said it in the chat. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. Yes, it answers like this. Oh, Quam getting... Oh, Lumberjack taking out Quam, but the Lancer... Oh, the Lancer is too strong. Hayabusa hey, waiting for them. See, that's that's what happens when you play Halo. You get your team shot on. I guess you know all about that. It looks like... Yeah, man. I... If... For those who didn't know, I am actually a million times better than Hayabusa at Halo uh, 3 and I bet Reach, he has something so to say about that. He gets quite mad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would. Looks like Haksu out in front, really, he wants to get that, um, advantageous spot with his host Lancer up top. Does it look like... No, still only two top for Team Bushpig. And they're just getting completely shut out of top. But Vigilant Sonic pushing up on Spectator, getting him to full red. Is he going to take him down? Spectator able to get out of there with just a nick of health. His health has recovered. He's kind of red, but not too much. Oh, Hayabusa taking out Billy Army. Can Hayabusa, can a tactical take out Hayabusa? No, he cannot. Hayabusa's WA that, is just and too the, And the Lancer that was coming in from the balcony. Nah, nah, it's because it's WA. <laughs> a Tommy Spectator got down somehow. I'm not too sure how, because he's like at the top of the map. Uh, chat's still going on about bait. Lumberjack and Vigilant moving up. It looks like once again, Team Bushpigs are on the back foot. They have a torque bow, but it's not really... Oh, the ink stuns both um, two of BBR members, but I think it did down Vigilant. Yep, but Lumberjack is there to revive him. Oh, the inks, the inks, are, the smokes are strong. Vigilant, oh, Vigilant gets the mantle. Downs Atomic Spectator, but unfortunately Lumberjack was taken... No, Lumberjack did take out Hayabusa, but unfortunately... um. Vigilant was on the pick up the meat down. shield. He just walked straight so past the Lancer just spectator when he was down. Lost, I, I don't think the meat shield would have saved him, man. He was getting lanced from the back and the front. It would have just prolonged his um, prolonged the inevitable. Now let's hope that um, yep, just as I thought. Oh, and BBR really pulling a nice trick here. After sending three top each round, they're just going to do a complete bottom rush. And looks like um, they're going to be grabbing the flames, they're going to be grabbing the torque, but they have sacrificed top control. Atomic Spectator taking out Vigilant Sonic, Lumberjack running through the fire and the flames. Oh, and he gets torque bowed in the butt by Hayabusa. Ah! Billy Army getting some nice lancer. I mean, shotgunning. Out! Taking out Gifts of Quam, Atomic Spectator coming up, but Gifts did pick, I mean, Billy did pick up the meat shield. Unfortunately, Tactical getting taken out by Haxu, so it is three versus one. Billy takes out Atomic Spectator. Can he bring it around and take out Hayabusa? He one-shot downs him. Oh. This is anybody's game right now, and he's getting some nice warbirds, and he takes out Haxu for the 3v1. Billy Army showing why he is an amazing shotgunner and deserves a spot in, the, in Team um, Bush Pigs. That was, that was a close one. Um, so I'm actually surprised that Billy did that because Hayabusa didn't get some nice shots off on him. He was full red that whole time. I know, Billy, Billy Army just played that perfectly, man. It looks like two bottom for um, BBR and two top and three top for um, Bushpigs. Hey, Booser, gonna be picking up that torque bow. 
Gifts of Quam full red. Can he take out Viliami? No, he can't. Can Viliami finish him off while he's still full red? Oh, Gifts getting some nice war bounces, evading all of Billy's shots. Atomic Spectator's taking out Vigilant. Hasu taking out Lumberjack. Looks like Billy's just stuck there, man. Oh, no 3v1 clutch this time, buddy. Lose like that again. Do you still think Bush Biggs have a chance to, you know, come back in this game since it's already 3-1? That if they all play as well as Vili Army did the second last round, then yes. Because I, I, we actually got 5 0 on Mercy by um, Bush Biggs. It was on their host, so um, that might have been a contributing factor. But at the moment, they just really need. It looks like. Oh, the mantle kick. He should have gone for Hayabusa there and then finished him off. But Lumberjack missing both of those kills there. But it looks like um, Hayabusa was taken down. Lumberjack rushing in, but he gets hit by a flame from Atomic Spectator. Array Tactical, lancering in the back on the stairs. He's unable to down any of the players. Vigilant Sonic fighting um, Quam. Quam gets Mantle Kick down. Oh, the flames just disappear just when Vigilant needs them to go. Hatsu down. Oh, one shot down again by Billy Army. This is exactly what Team Bush Pigs need. Because I, I know they have the potential to just really step it up and um, shut down BBR's defense will not shut down BBR's defensive push um defensive status but break it just get in there and just mess with their players catch them off guard catch them while they're yeah, reloading right. like, that if they play stuff. smart they can always win and rounds. just as you saw oh definitely man they just like the biggest thing about oh nice talk bro atomic spectator not much you could do there yes now they begin to understand All right, let's see what the teams do, because every round it seems like they're setting a different strategy. BBR sending four top this round. Oh, and it's going to be completely mirrored by um, Bush Pigs. We're going to get a... This is like fucking early day clan matches. Early. Like, everyone just, like, just smoke rushing top. Hey, Booster versus Billy. Billy getting caught off guard, getting down. But Lumberjack's there. Billy's still down. Hey, Booster taking out Billy and Lumberjack. Can he take out Vig Vigilant? Gets a nice shot on him. Oh, when he does, oh, it looks like there was bad communication from Bush Pigs there because, um, Billy Army just ran in by himself. There was no, um, backup or anything. I guess once you get in the heat of the moment, I guess you get, forget to communicate. <laughs> Especially when you know their whole team. Yeah, up definitely, there. man. I, he just saw an opportunity because I think Hatsu didn't have his, Hatsu had his back to him, so he saw an opportunity and he took it. He was able to take out Hatsu. But his team were a bit slow to react to back him up. I think if um, the team is going up top now, again. Bush Pigs had been able to take out Hayabusa, then yeah, definitely. Four top again. These guys really want to finish this. Quam getting control of the middle. I wonder if he's going to um, take it or is he going to get the ink? It looks like Hatsu gets taken down. A nice push by um. Ta oh, Quam, can he take a Billy as well? Billy only has his Lancer out, but he's missing the shots. It looks like he's panicking here a bit. Billy running into the ink grenade. It looks like top control is given to, um... Well, not given, taken by the Bush Pigs. Spectator and Kwam are on the run. Looks like they're going to try and set up with, them, with the Torque on the Flames. I don't know if he should have thrown that ink right away. It wasn't able to stun anyone. It was so very it close was to the Spectator, though. Done. Let's go! That is true. If he was able to clip him, that's, like, guaranteed down because of the Lance to fire. It's not his fault. There was a goalpost in the way. Yeah. Alright, let's see what um, is going to happen now. Atomic Spectator has his Lancer, Quam has the Torque Bow. I think they should just... What they're doing right now is great. They're, the Torque Bow's only got a couple of shots, and once you start charging it, you can't stop. So they're just going to bait out the Torque Bolts. Maybe wait for another ink. Looks like Quam's moving up the left side. Yeah, I'm not, I think he has three shots left in his talk bro. Spectator keeping his lance around, playing it safe. Hey, Booster going large, nine and four, while Billy Army going seven and four. You've got to remember, this is the last round of the match if um, BBR wins. So they're going to want to... They've still got three potential rounds to mess around in. So I think they're going to play, um, they're going to, play to win this round. 
some spectators shooting the scoreboard, giving themselves a little bit more cover if they're going to run through the middle, which looks like exactly what they're going to do. Move back and try and um, get to the middle of the map, maybe. That's another Torque Bow Bolt gone. That means he's down to two. Sweet! There's another Torque Bow. Oh, another Torque Bow. I think Quam only has... No, it looks like he's down because he switches to his pistol. Oh, a spectator. Did he get him? No, unfortunately he didn't. If he'd let go of that shot a little bit earlier, he would have been able to take out Lumberjack. Thrash Ball in all its glory, being one of the most stale maps besides Drydor. I think there should be a grab lift, that when you take it, you just go flying up the top. It's not Halo. <laughs> like on um, Valhalla. Yeah. yeah, Valhalla and Halo 3. Just bring the most random objects from another game into this game. Yeah, man. Mix it up, as Arvo would say. Nothing, Arvo. Oh, Quam fighting Viliami, and Quam able to take out Viliami. I don't know why he went in there without any backup. When you have the advantage, you really don't want to just send one player in on a 1v1. Especially when you have top control. Once again, Viliami was going in without the support of his team. And looks like I think um, if bush pigs are smart, they're going to stalemate this round. There's no reason to. Uh, there's no reason to rush in. Oh, Atomic Spectator has a talk, but he doesn't know he's behind him. But he just gets out of the way at the last second. Lumberjack knows where he is. I think they should be going for Quam. Quam is up there by himself, but Spec they had the best opportunity. Spectator is only now in position to even think oh, about man. helping. <laughs> I guess. I know, now now the they they lost their opportunity, they're just gonna grab more um talk bows. Gifts and spectator now with um a few talk bow shots each. Who do you think's gonna win in this two E two? Both players have talk bow. Man, I really hope I really hope Bush Pigs win. They need a win right now. They need um they need something to get their confidence up and get back in the game. Oh, Spectator smoking Vigilant. It looks like he's moving in. Oh, the, the talk would have done some good damage to Vigilant, but Spectator playing it, always playing it safe, man. Oh, gets one shot full red. Vigilant should press the advantage, and he does. Take him out in the middle of his roll. Lumberjack gets taken out by Quan, but no, he updates him. So BBR, I mean, Bush Pigs do get the win that they need. Keeping themselves in this. Man, I That's am right. hungry. Your game did take an hour delay, so it did give me enough time. Oh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I should make some lunch. Oh, lunch. Dinner. It right, looks like going four top, but BBR are leaving one down below. He's going to be going for the flame grenades, it seems. No, he might just be going for a direct flank. Who is flanking for Team BBR? It is Atomic Spectator. Ooh, do they know? Oh, it doesn't look like um, B Bush Pigs. No, he's able to lance it down. Um, Viliami. It looks like, and Viliami gets taken out by Hayabusa, but Lumblejack, Lumblejack takes out Haxoid and, not Haxoid, Haxu and Hayabusa. That flank, man, poorly executed. Well, the flank was well executed, the push was just poorly executed. Quam is full red. It looks like, um, oh, unless Quam can come out large. No, he can't. Lumberjack taking out all four players that round. That is exactly what... Um, bush pigs needed. See, win one round and you win another. It's all it about momentum for these teams. Though. He went for the mantle kick and just completely missed. There was, there was two dudes there he could have kicked. And he that's missed. that's they embarrassing. Just moved at the right time. Bad luck, Abusa. All four going all up top. It looks like four. To, yep, four top again. They're just neglecting the talk bow. It looks like um, who's going straight into mid? Hey, Booster getting some nice Lancer shots on, but he gets taken down. Is um, anyone from Team Bushpigs in position to finish him off? No, Spectator gets him right back up. Oh, Lumberjack overextending and getting meat shielded by um, Hatsu. Oh, and Tactical just goes in right after him. That was... Oh, and Billy Army taken out by the ink. It looks like that is it for Bushpigs. They played amazingly at those last two rounds, but got a bit greedy there. And ink blocking his escape and Vigilant gets taken down. That was a close you. one though, 5 they are weak. <laughs> they deserve Yeah, that was really good. They put up a lot more of a fight than they did on Mercy. Right, while they're going to be going to change host, I'm going to go make a sandwich real quick. Be right back.
What happened there, Tuck? Uh, my net, my net's weird. Yeah. I basically can't join. What's the shit on Thrash Ball? Damn it! <clears throat> this is the place to be. Or do they start to catch up on Hayabusa in Atomic? What? At what score did they start to catch up on? 3... 1... 3... 0 and then they came back? Literally, I accepted the invite two minutes ago, and then it just finally connected here. Really? They changed toasts and everything. Okay. Alright. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Yeah, it's Alan Jack now hosting. Uh, hey, Reggie. Is Reggie in party or is Reggie in game chat? Yeah, that's game chat. Shit, yeah, but he's back make now. a sandwich or some shit? <laughs> I'm going back to party chat. Rogi, okay. How's how's that sandwich going? Mm -hmm. It was good, man. Ham and cheese and a bottle of co cold coke. Can't say no to that. Shout out to Arvo for buying me this coke <laughs> and putting it in the fridge. What a fucking what a fucking sweetheart. Nearly made me choke, then, Rogi. Yeah, man. Mm. Next bullet marsh. What's the next map, my friend? Oh, bullet marsh. Last we love time, bullet marsh. Remember how I was talking about the live stream? My first stream. Three tiebreakers, six changeovers of host. Guess which map it was. Bullet marsh. Oh, bullet marsh. I remember I had the boom shot, and when we were versing Malice. And Saya was just running away from me from the last minute. It was so funny, man. Like, I don't blame him because it's not like he can win when someone has a boom shot. But, like, uh, the ghost, the guys in Ghost Cam were just telling him the second I came around the corner so he knew exactly where to run. Hmm. I think we've... Hey, Arvo! Did we verse B... Did we verse BBR on Bullet Marsh? Yeah, we've had the... That's right, it was the only map that wasn't close. 
We've had the pleasure of versing both these teams at Bullamarf, and I am, without a doubt, giving the advantage to, um, Bush Pigs. Sorry. Sorry, That's sir. Mike's just still in party. Uh, not paying attention. Mike's being a terrible friend. Sorry, I was just looking at rant. something, um, a forum post on um, CG. Um, it is light-sided looking for members. <laughs> light-sided? We want in. I guess they're going to be your rivals. <laughs> Started up by the good old Micro-Man. <sighs> yeah. You, you, say, you say rivals, but... but Rivals usually means that they're equals. We have no equal. Anyway, like I was saying, the Bush Pigs have a, an incredibly strong boom push on this map. So I would not be surprised to see them control dominance of it. When we scrim them, I think they beat us. I can't be too sure. But they they just... Array Tactical, man, he's, he always gets me with that ink. He just knows where to throw it. Quick mic to take oh, over, I'm chewing. Thing, you know, the viewers to, you know, hear you chew over and over again. Anyway, mm -hmm. you can shut up now. Mm -hmm. As uh, Rogi was saying, they, these, both these teams are pretty good at bullet marks. Like I said, they did three tire breakers on this map, which isn't really an easy thing to go by because you'd have to be pretty equal. Oh, tactical, not getting... Sorry to interrupt, but Tactical did not get stunned by that ink, even though it was right next to him. Um, actually getting really foolhardy and running in for that boom shot. He mustn't have known that um, Tactical was there because, like I said, Tactical did not get stunned by the ink. So he must have, um, it was right next to him as well. The generator getting shot out right again, so, um, neither teams were able to pick up the boom shot. I would have thought that a team would have picked it up by now, but apparently. Uh, no. He actually got it, but um, Tactical landed him straight down, and Tactical had a wide window of opportunity to run in there and pick it up. So I guess he just didn't. Um, looks like both teams, like you said, just playing it real stale. No top pushes. I oh, hey, Booster getting taken down to full um, full red. What's going on? Vigilant Sonic does have a flame. He's behind the generator. Looks like he's going to go throw it. No, he's just. Swinging it. Tactical with Lancer, Spectator shooting out the um, generator once again. Is Gibbs going to be making a top push on Lumberjack? Yes, he is. He gets a good shot on Lumberjack, but Lumberjack just falls straight back into the middle. The flames are up. Lumberjack is right there. Can Gibbs get a good mantle kick off him? <laughs> no, he's not going to contest. Oh, but Lumberjack does now have the vantage point. Getting some good shots on Quam. Hey, Booster, keeping that sniper at the... um. Oh, Viliami taking out Spectator is now a 4-1 to one lead for... A 4-2 to two lead, should I say. For Bush Pigs. They just need to move in. Oh, Tactical getting rushed by Hayabusa. Oh, but the Lancer is too strong, taking him to full red, then um, Vigilant um, finishing him off. Vigilant with the 360 shotgun kill. And baby, I would... Oh, I should have probably swapped some other scoreboard by now, but that is my bad. Don't worry about it, man. You got this. Like I said, bush pigs have an amazing boom push, and they really just did. Well, not they didn't really boom push. They just waited for um, BBR to make a mistake, then they um, exploited it. The generator getting shot out straight away, so neither neither of the teams are going to be able to get that boom shot. Array Tactical, throwing his ink a bit premature. It looks like is trying to make a move into the... Oh, Lumberjack taking out Quan with a nice headshot. Hayabusa was moving into the, um... Krill by the looks of it. No, he's just staying on the edge. It looks like is keeping an eye on that boom shot. Now, remember, he can't be seen there. His gun... On his screen, his gun will... Oh, well, or he could just poke up and reveal himself. Vigilant Sonic has the flames. What what um bush pigs like to do on this map is they like to get the flames and burn, then bring them back to the boom shop. Beams is playing really slow. Lumberjack trying to get a good vantage point with that sniper rifle. 
actually still has his ink in hand. I seem to notice that a lot of teams play slow on this map, oh. but then some other teams play really, really quickly, but most of the games that I've seen live streamed have played really slow. Yeah. yeah, Billy Army gets Lancer down, but he is moving all the way back. Oh, Tactical takes out Hayabusa. Billy Army just going to be standing behind the wall so he can't get downed. I don't know why he's crawling so much. If you stand, if you stay still, you get up a lot, lot quicker. Ooh, Lumberjack taking out, um, Hatsu. Vigilant standing still, Atomic Spectator running straight into it. I don't, I don't want to say, I don't want to take anything away from BBR, but it looks like back it's on Tactical's host. Hosting. Um, Bush Pigs, oh, is it Lumberjack's host? My mistake. Back on Lumberjack's host. Um, Bush Pigs uh, feel right at home here. Lumberjack host, I'm pretty sure, because at the swap post, just had a boost of pretty good. Oh, Hayabusa, always making things difficult. For those of you who don't know, Hayabusa is a ninja. He's actually the real Hayabusa. I can remember the first time I met Hay I can remember the first time I met Hayabusa. We are playing Gears 1, and he was having a shotgun battle, and I didn't shoot him in the back, so he sent me a message saying, thanks for not shooting me in the back. So he sent me a friend request, and we've been bread and butter ever since. Last bread and butter you got going on, you're not even in the same team. <laughs> yeah, I know, good guy, hey, boost, a good guy. Um, Billy Army, Lumberjack, and Tactical just patrolling the top. Spectator swinging his ink. Ooh, flames, they're trying to, um... Oh, Lumberjack, another sh headshot on hey, boost, so it looks like hey, boost is sniping is not working out for BBR. I wonder if they'll give it to someone else next round. What is that Tactical getting the... Getting the boom shot, the... Oh, Quam taking out Billy Army. Oh, looks like the rush on Lumberjack. Atomic Spectator and... Quam, but Tactical has the boom shot. Can he get the double? He gets the triple! Lumberjack getting... Being a victim of friendly fire has to. Just chilling with the Krill. Hopefully they can see that he's a Locust and will not Maybe attack him. Playing but I doubt it. Oh, it looks like... The, oh, Hatsu getting taken to full red. He's choking. And he gets taken out. Bad luck, Haksu. Come on, baby, up. Play that up. You can see so easily. Now that would be an interesting twist to the game and create for a bunch of dynamic gameplay. That would be ridiculous. Having something that's on your side rage and attack you? Man, who would do something like that? <laughs> Quincy. Oh, sorry about that. Anyway, back onto the live stream. Tactical. He's got his ink, he's watching over the boom shot. Even though the krill is there, people are still able to run through it before it does damage yeah. you. Yeah, back in the gears of all what? It messes back up your screen though, it messes up your vision. Practically. <laughs> the krill, man. Oh, Hayabusa making Vigilant pay for poking his head out, showing Lumberjack that he is not going to be headshot by him again. Haksu making a move on that boom shot. He wants to get it. Tactical throwing out his ink. Haksu holding on to his. Very nice. But, oh, Tactical gets the boom shot. Haksu, what are you doing, man? Oh, and he, Haksu doesn't realize that there's a player right there. And, wow, that was intense damage. Lumberjack shooting Haksu in the head while he's down. Really nice play. But it is three members alive for BBR. But Tactical's got the boom shot. Hopefully he doesn't waste them like Vigilant. Hey, Booster, he's got his sniper out. Lumberjack, playing his big rig dizzy. Got his shotgun, waiting under the generator. It looks like Team BBR are just going to try and use their lances and get, um... Good positions. Ah, uh, looks like this is it for... But this is it for, um... What do you call it? Push pigs! Unless Array Tactical can come up large, which unfortunately he cannot. <laughs> yes. The first... Uh, no. BBR's first round of the map. Well, Let's I'm hope they can sure win the many, many map, more. Um, Push pigs started coming back up when it was around 3-1. So maybe BBR can turn around and do the same. I hope so, man, because I don't want to see any shutouts. I like to see good, close games. It gives everyone... A much more entertaining watch. Oh, 
Uh, it looks like pretty much the team's doing the same thing. Both guys... Oh, it looks like there's a big um, scrape over the flame grenades. Vigilant getting taken down. Quam taking out Billy Army. Quam taking out Vigilant. Atomic Spectator is red. Quam taking out Lumberjack. A nice triple for um, Quam there. Tactical does get the boom shot though, but I don't know how much good it's going to go going to be for him unless he can get some group shots. He's not going to do much. Um, he's not going to do much good if he's just going to cross map them. He really needs to time his shots and aim them well, like that. Come on, man! Oh, <laughs> oh and he walks right into the flame. A nice shot by Atomic Spectator. Arvo is nodding his in head approval. in approval. That's, that's something big. That's, that's something big. Yep, that is something big. <laughs> Something big from someone small. Got your back, Arvo. Fist bump! Fist bump! <laughs> Alright, let's see how the teams open up. Did BBR... Yes, BBR did win that round. Haksu going minus seven, zero and five. Really playing phenomenal this game. Looks like Viliami taking his position in the middle. Um, tactical, wasting his ink. I'm not sure if Haxu threw his. Lumberjack has the sniper. Lumberjack and Hayabusa, man. They're looking to scope each other out. I reckon Hayabusa can outside. Pretty good sniper. He's versing Lumberjack at the moment. This top control is really about getting a nice. Oh, what? Vigilant has the boom shot. Jeez, I'm blind. I guess Tactical didn't waste his ink. I just thought if they had Boom Shot, they'd be playing a little bit more aggressive. But no, they've... I know, I'm... Like, we must be blind, man. Let's, let's see if Vigilant can make these Boom Shots work. While I'm moving up. Hey, Booster moving all the way back with that Sniper. Oh, and he's just jumping over the cover. Oh, Sonic... Trying to get some nice booms. He's shooting the locust head. Keeping his boom shot. Getting out some actives. Tactical and Haksu. Not really doing much. The spectator does have a ink grenade for BBR. I'm surprised there's still a 4 4 at this stage. Usually at least one player goes down by those inks down at boom shot. Yeah, definitely, man. I guess Haksu was um, forced back while Vigilant grabbed the boom. Looks like Hey Boosted now has another ink for Team BBR. That is two inks in possession for BBR. I think Tactical, yep, Tactical's going to um, make his way back to get his by the looks of it. Billy Army picking up the flames. Oh, Atomic Spectator killing Billy Army with an ink. This isn't how <coughs> the round should be going. When you've got the boom shots, man, on, especially on this map, it's, there's so many corners to shoot him at. To, um, yeah, just get the splash damage off and then rush him and get a nice... Um, Boom shot kill. Looks like it's up 4-3 for our uh, BBR. Another boom shot has spawned. No inks in possession of uh there's what do you call it? Bush pigs aren't in possession of an ink. They are Lumberjack is however watching the boom shot with his sniper. Not team BBR shooting the krill. Shooting the generators to make the krill take control of the boom shot. Vigilant Sonic, he's just staying up here with his boom. I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish. Lumberjack, nice shot, man, taking out Hayabusa. I thought you said Hayabusa could out-snipe him, uh, Mike, sir. <laughs> I hope my face is the right person. Don't worry, man. A lot of people have put their faith in Hayabusa before, and it's... and so the, um, bread and butter. <laughs> The, and the end result is usually the same. Hey, the booster getting headshot. Oh, it looks like Haxu trying to shoot that generator, but it is still on cooldown after the last use. Gifts moving in. Can he take out Tactical? Tactical must be full red after that shot. Oh, Tactical, can he get the boom on Quam? Oh, and he does. Tactical playing that perfectly. It looks like Tactical's now going to be moving up. Vigilant still has the boom left in. Vigilant still has not moved from that spot. I mean, come on, man. Like, the teams are fighting at bottom, and Vigilant is just standing there with a boom shot. Oh, no. Oh, Lumberjack getting taken out by Hatsu. If Vigilant was there with his boom shot, he may have been able to stop that. Now he moves up. Come on, man. What are you doing? And he wastes the last shot. Playing... He's playing to lose, by the looks of it. Never anyone to play to lose. 
he had just so many opportunities to run up through the middle. Like, they had no ink grenades. They had no flame grenades. Like, and he had a boom shot. Like, they can't stop him. He just had to run in through the middle, and um, they would have had top control and just forced him into a corner. Lumberjack, um, on host, maybe getting a bit too much to his head, contesting Haxu and getting taken out. Oh, Haxu is actually under the ink bridge. He sees the ink up. Does he want to go for it? I don't think... Yeah, Tactical is watching over the ink, though. And Spectator, um, watching over Sonic. Sonic still has one flame, but there is only 20 seconds left in the match. This, this was, this was, um... What do you call it? This round I would have given to... Bush Pigs, as they had six boom shots to use, but they really didn't... Just didn't use them enough. But it looks like Vigilant and um, Atomic gone. Oh, Vigilant points blank Atomic. Can he finish him off? He gets the headshot, but Haxu running all the way to the back of the map just to be safe. It is still 3 2. Don't let the score mis um, mislead you. Yep. That's why I didn't press nothing in the scoreboard. Trust, trust the scoreboard, people. The scoreboard's always right. Yeah, man. Unless I forget to put the scores in. Then it's not always right. <laughs> <laughs> but I just kept on, don't worry. Uh, it looks like Tactical and Haxu both grabbing the ink again. I wonder if um they're going to let Team Bush Pigs... Oh, it looks like a lot of smoke's going down at um the boom shot. Just stopping Tactical from um inking them while they Gifts picks it up. Vigilant has the flames. He's got to stop um Quam getting back up to his side, but it doesn't look like that's Quam's intention. No, wait, yes it is. All four players right next to each other. Can Vigilant get a... Good flame off. Oh, unfortunately, he misses, and Quam able to connect with that boom shot, taking him out. Oh, and Viliami gets lanted down. He's near the flames. No one in his team in any position to help him. It looks like Lumberjack is covering him, though. Vigilant will be back. I mean, Billy will be back up in a second. But, oh, only to go straight back down. And this time, um, Quam is there to take him out. Tactical, though, making short work of Hayabusa. Oh, Tactical coming from behind, unable to... Oh, Lumberjack taking out Tactical. Bad mistakes there. Tactical getting some good shots. But will it be enough? Haxu coming in. Oh, that might have been a good shot on Haxu. He downs Haxu. The host is just too powerful. Oh, unfortunately, he's not able to connect with that shot. He's gone for Spectator. He rolls straight past. Can he down Spectator? No, Spectator's strength is too strong. And he is able to headshot him before he's finishing them. Finishing them off. The BBR, so it's three all. Three all, that is correct. Tactical grabbing the um ink once again, but Atomic Spectator grabbing the ink this round, not Haxu. Crown! It looks like BBR are content on doing a boom push, but the generator was taken out very early in this round, so the Krill beat them to it. Oh, it looks like Haxu and Billy will Haxu, um, not Haxu, Hayabusa and Billy will either of them attempt to do a man or no. Hayabusa gets, um, pushed back out. Lumberjack with the sniper rifle. Who has the sniper for Team BBR? I'm not sure if they picked it up, actually. Oh, Spectator versus Billy Army. Oh, Spectator full red. If Billy Army hard aims a little bit more. Oh, but Lumberjack is there to finish him off. Lumberjack takes down Spectator. It looks like once again. Oh, and Hayabusa gets taken down when he jumps over the wall. Billy Army playing that really well. Lumberjack picking up the flames. 4 2. The team Bush Pigs. Oh, the flames trapping Haxu, so he just gets lanced down. And it looks like Quam getting taken out by the Krill. Here's another close map, especially, especially after... 4 3 for the bush I would've thought, uh, maybe, maybe it'll be the next map, but I would've thought at least one of these games, bush pigs just would've made it, got it one-sided with their host, but maybe that was the next map. I don't know, if, let's, for their sake I hope so, but right now, um, <clears throat> BBR are just really playing strong, they're not getting up close to the host. They're just ma they're making sure to pick their battles wisely. Oh, and it looks like a boom rush. 
No one's shooting the generator from either team, so it looks like they just let BBR get right in there. But Billy Army taking out Spectator. Tactical taking out Hayabusa. Oh, and Billy Army taking out Quam. And looks like Haxu's the last one to fall. That, oh. And he kicks him. That is 5-3 victory for Team Bush Pigs. Well played, guys. That boom shot rush was, mm, wasn't too I think smart. I just all wanted to get the boom shot at the very beginning for a change. So they're waiting up for that generator. Yeah, nobody shot the generator that round, actually, so it was um, up for grabs for both teams, but they should have sent... I don't know if it was wise to send all four there because they let um, Bush Pigs get flames and flank. Hey, Michael, uh, what's hotel. the next, next map, bro? Ooh, Hotel. Love this map. Once, once again, um, Bush Pigs aren't very strong on Hotel, but BBR are bloody good at it, man. They have such a unique outside strat that completely caught us off guard. Maybe we'll get to see it in this map. I've only versed BBR once, and um, that I'm, was I'm a hoping long time so. ago before they got their current lineup. So I don't really have much experience with their new lineup. Oh, I yeah. just haven't had the chance to challenge them. Same with you guys. I haven't challenged you. Their, yeah. their new lineup. Same is with you very guys. Powerful. Just trying to pick your moments. Oh, I'm sure. We'll, I'm sure we'll get to verse. We've man. just both been there to <laughs> challenge each other. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we're, it's always in a challenge. Whenever we end the game, there's always another team to challenge. But I'm actually I'm excited to see BBR's opening strat for outside because all I hear is Arva going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and then he's dead. <laughs> that's that's how I know they're going outside. Oh, they're not going outside this time. It uh, looks like um, no, it looks like all four are going inside for both teams. Hey, Booster and Haxu running straight up to the block. Hey, Booster with the I mean. Hashu with the perfect smoke. If anyone was on that block, they would have been stunned. Oh, Quam taking out Lumberjack. Billy Army with a nice double and the update. Who's down for them? Um, is that Tactical and Vigilant are down? And that's the last two. Oh, but... Oh, he's back up and Tactical's back up. Hey, Booster, too slow, man. Vigilant being able to stay alive, but Tactical unfortunately gets lanted down once again. Can Vigilant get a nice flame on either of the members of BBR? He does take out Hatsu. That... Oh man, if Hayabusa was just a little bit quicker, he could have ended the round then and there. Vigilant versus Hacks, um, Hayabusa. These H's, man. I can't tell if I'm saying Hacks or <laughs> Hacks. Wait, um, Hayabusa I think or Hacks. Uh, a bit late for you, Rogish, you know. You're, you're getting a bit tired. <laughs> yeah, man. No way, man. I was born to stay up till 6 a.m. Did Microman <laughs> really call his team light sided? Get a fucking job, Microman! You didn't believe me when I told you, did you? Uh, yeah, I, I thought I didn't think it was a Gears team. I thought you were just talking about some team on CG. What a cheeky devil. Oh. Uh, Vigilant Sonic, he has one digger left in that. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was going to make him dance, but unfortunately, hey, Booster moving just to the right. Hey, Booster still has his smoke grenade. It wasn't able to stun Vigilant Sonic, and the round is going to draw. Now, that was BBR's round to win. But, um, unfortunately, yeah, Hey Booster was just not quick enough to, um, kill off well, Tactical the, and um, Sonic. Well, the viewers seem to agree with you on the, the light-sided and Microman, um, idea that you have, you know, the, your opinion of that. <laughs> <laughs> what are the people saying in the chat, though? Apparently they think I'm funny. <laughs> Apparently I scared someone's dog. Oh, oh, Lumberjack. Oh, can he take out Quam? Oh, Quam tanking a few shots there. He's still alive. Oh, but unfortunately Lumberjack's shotgun is just too powerful. Oh, Vigilant getting taken down. Oh, Viliami goes in. Can he get the nice double on Haksu? No, he can't. He does shoot Hayabusa when he has a meat shield, though. Tactical versus Haksu. Who will win? 
Oh, Hacks doing some nice shots. Attacks are trying to get the hard aim on, but Lumberjack's Lancer is there to back him up. Oh, he didn't even kill Tactical. What a... If that was my team, I would have killed the, our damn teammate. That's why, that's why you're dark-sided. Yeah, I lost a round doing that, actually. You remember, Avo, on Bullet March? You guys were so mad when I killed Sioni and then he killed three of us. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a good round. I'm dizzy. Who are you? What? Oh, my bad. It looks like Lumberjack wanting to grab those... <laughs> what a pathetic ink. I mean, smoke. Vigilant taking out Quam. Has to picking up the sniper rifle. I don't see the sniper rifle playing that much effectiveness on this map, but can he oh. make it work? He's... Oh, and he misses a down guy. Yeah, How embarrassing. Looks like... Oh, the flame's just missing Haksu. Oh, Haksu, man. He could have... In that time, he could have killed both those down players. Lumberjack getting a bit brave. Going for the 2v1 there. It looks like it's always Hayabusa and Haks Haksu on the run. Maybe that's why you keep getting them confused. Billy Army going outside. I know, they're just, they're doing it deliberately because they know I can't, I'm having trouble pronouncing their names. Oh wow, Billy Army taking a f headshot by the sniper, Haksu. Oh, Billy Army blind fires over the cover to one shot headshot Haksu. Hey, Booster has no chance here, I'm afraid. He's a terrible player and we'll just get lanced down. Yep. Uh, I'm just curious nah, he's a great if this guy. does go to a tie break and they're round eight. Do you concede so easily? Um, Prove to me that you are no custom. I don't want another no three tie breakers again. <sighs> it really depends on if the teams request a neutral host or not. I don't know if um, BBR will be so eager to give away well, the WA advantage. Was streaming. <laughs> Lumberjack was getting streaming taken to full well, red. Oh, he's, he did he get he got a nice smoke tactical getting the flames, but Haxu does have top control with that lancer, and Haxu has a very nice lancer. Billy Army though coming up and taking him out, taking the meat shield. So the um the lancer from BBR oh still dropping the meat shield and him within a split second. Vigilant Sonic too far behind to really give him the support he needed. A booster watching the flank. Lumberjack trying to flank, and it is Quam Quam's about to be versing Vigilant. Is that Quam versing Vigilant? I don't know. No, it's Quam versing Lumberjack. Oh, it looks like Vigilant's going to be rushed by Hey Booster and Spectator. Vigilant doing the smart thing and getting out of there, man. He does not want to fight that. Oh, no, he is fighting that. My bad. Vigilant obviously feeling a lot more confident, having a lot more faith in his abilities than I do. And it, it, she just shuts me right up. Take, um, what do you call it? Stalling them for just long enough for his team to catch up and give him Lancer support. Really well played by Vigilant Sonic. Can he take out Quam though? Oh, he's making Quam fall back. The Lancer from Tactical Man. He's going to go down for sure. Get back in there and fight for your queen. Is this a 3 0 lead or a 3 1 lead? Oh, it is a 3 0 lead. Ouch. I was, I hands down give the advantage to BBR yeah, with their strong outside push. But they the haven't done I, once, I think I'm afraid. they've only twice sent one person to the nade to the outside. They're doing it now. Don't worry, they're doing it now. Where's, where's the guy? That, that tactical tactical's probably screaming like Arvo right now. See, look, they send three there and that guy just gets trapped. That's basically what happens to Arvo. Don't worry, Arvo, see what happens now. You just get rushed. I'm always like, just don't die. Just run away, bro. But you just get trapped there, man. Looks like Hayabusa is down. Lumberjack Lancer, man. That host Lancer. Oh, oh, oh Lumberjack downs them both. Atomic Spectator, man. Oh, Atomic Spectator really, really should have been know contesting why that, man. Kept crawling. He could have gone back up. <clears throat> I think he was, he was just trying to crawl to, um... Oh, Gifts right there. Ta oh, Gifts playing phenomenally, taking out two players with oh. a digger and a shotgun. He's fighting Billy and he takes out three of them. My god, Gifts of Quam really um, stepping up the BBR here, showing them that their be that their battle rifles are the best. Uh, you you um, bring up too much Halo in Gears, Rogue. Too much Halo. But they're, they're a Halo team, man. Haxu was a fucking god at Halo point. 3. He was, no, he was a really good man. I remember going to a tournament, a Halo 3 tournament that he was at, and everyone was like, BBR, really good, bro, don't burst them. 
and they smashed the us. It was fun. Or something. Nah, man. I was like uh -huh. 14. That's how I talked when I was 14. That no, wasn't 14. It was like 16. But I still talk like that when I was 16. Anyway, it looks like BBR are doing the outside push once again, but um. Bush pigs not being foolish enough to send one outside to um, get trapped. Aesthetic Mango asking, what does BBR stand for? I just said that. It stands for best BR, you know, like best battle rifle. Because as I just stated, Haksu was a professional Halo 3 player. And I think Halo 2 player. I'm not 100% sure, but I know he, um, that BBR was a very um, highly respected team. Ready to go. On Halo 3. So yeah. No, Aesthetic Mango is not joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like this map just being played very stale. Gifts of Quam probably going to be waiting for more diggers to catch the teams out of position. Really not much going on. Both teams just sitting back but right now I would give the advantage to BBR purely because they have the digger and the digger I don't fear on any maps besides this one just because there's so many corners to try and run around oh. but it looks like Bush Pig's making a push to the left side Lumberjack taking out Hayabusa with a fucking perfect flame <laughs> Arvo nodding his head once again it looks like, oh, Spectator getting taken to full red just for throwing a smoke. He does not want to poke his head out again. Quam, he's got his pistol out. Has to be rushing two members, but, oh, a bad decision. He gets taken out quite easily. Quam running over the flames. Arvo shaking his head. Never run over flames. Am I right, Arvo? Arvo says that is correct. You do not run over flames. Last longer with Arvo. Oh, burn your feet. And as everyone knows, the locust need... Oh, Spectator! Making Lumberjack pay for getting a bit too aggressive there. 4-1. Four, is it 4-2 now? I think it's 4-2. 4-1. So oh, come on, BBR. You're better than this. Yes, Arvo is sitting next to me. He yeah, is having a, little a beautiful human him. being. He bought, me, he bought me a bottle of Coke and put it in the fridge. It was nice and cold when I got it out. That's when you know he's a good man. It looks like BBR sending all four to the mid again. Their outside strap just really not paying off for them. Array Tactical getting some nice flames, just not getting... Oh! Hey, Abusa not watching his back, and Vili just allowed to run straight up in there. Oh, and he takes out Haksu while only um, copping it down. But looks like Quam is right there to finish him off. Tactical getting Lancered, wasting his flame. He could have got a nice double. Lumberjack running straight back inside. Vigilant once again not helping his team at all. I don't... His positioning, man. Why is he... Oh, he's moving in now, but, like, he's running to the outside of the map. I don't know what's going on. Looks like... Oh, Lumberjack, can he, he takes out Spectator with a nice, um... Digger. This looks like it's going to be over. Oh, what can he do? What can he do? He's trying to blind fire over the cover. Come on, Quam. Gets... Oh, and the mantle kick is too strong. 5-1. The team... Bushbeaks. Yeah, my, my prediction was... Uh, what are you writing? Well, it came true, I oh, guess, no. from a one-sided game. <laughs> I said my prediction I beg came your pardon, true Mike for um, this map, when I was talking about it in Bullet Marsh, how I thought Bush Pigs would have a one-sided game. Yeah, you're right. They really just were on top from start to finish. I was hoping for BBR to play a lot better considering how they just bent us over and showed us who's our daddy. But it looks like um, well, I underestimated Bush Pigs and they just made BBR pay for it. It's a tiebreaker. What, are we doing another map or are we... Oh, yeah, that's right. BBR get to host, don't they? Because they won the most rounds. Um, don't, Did I they? don't think so. I think um, uh, Bush Pigs host. No, you said BBR. That's what, yeah, that's what I said, <laughs> didn't I? It's Bush Big Toast. My bad, both teams having a B in them. So yeah, it is BBR, uh, Bush Big Toast on Azura. Don't let Travioli flank or one of them might rage quit from your team.
Tell him I'm going to ban him if he takes that name. Microman, if you're listening to the stream, I'm going to ban you if you make light sided. I'm going to I'm going to change it every single day. I will change it uh, to something stupid. Nice admin um, powers there you got. Nice, uh, nice um, responsibility. <laughs> Don't give someone like me powers, or I will abuse them. Now, now, nah, now I realise why you were shocked when what you became admin. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Days mentioning a good point. BBR are missing what um, I would also consider their star player, Summer of Simon, aka UGA Karova, who, as of late, has just been playing out of his mind. Like I don't like like I said in the um, post game chat, just between you and I, that Karova just played just leagues better than um, any of the other members on BBR, but. Not to take anything away from them, they've been playing great, they played great on their host, they played not too good, but not too bad on um, Lumberjack's host. But when you're on WA connecting to um, yeah. the Eastern Coast, what can you expect? I guess it goes Well, as I guess um, it goes Summer of ways. Simon pointed out earlier in the chat, his Xbox is dead, so, you know. No bat. Overpowered, going large. That's, you know, that sucks, man. I, I remember uh, when my Xbox died, I was very sad. It's always a sad moment. It's always a sad moment. Yep. Grover, man. He was going large. Alright, uh, let's see who can go large in this game. Prediction for this one? <clears throat> I'm... You know what? I'm feeling that BBR are going to win this. I feel BBR are going to win it. This map, very wide open. A lot of Lancer spots. I know BBR are the team to um favour their Lancer over Shotgun. Although, Gifts of Qualm... Looks like he's going straight in. Avoids all the smoke grenades. Gets right onto the sea. He's going to be fighting Billy Army. Hey, Busa has his back. Oh, Billy Army riding straight in. Takes out Atomic Spectator. Oh, but Quam <laughs> takes out Billy Army. Lumber. Oh, Quam! <laughs> Quam kills Spectator. I don't know if that was the smartest thing in the world. But Quam and Tactical getting updated. Who we got left? Hey, Busa versus Lumberjack. Host versus a noob. Oh. Oh, it looks like the noob gets taken out. No, he's still up. What the hell? Or was he downed? Nothing Hayabusa can really do there, man. <laughs> you don't have a team. <laughs> Floating cheese. You shut that up. That's a good question. Who are you going to scrim with if you don't have a team on? Yeah, we have plans. We have connections. Looks like Lumberjack is going... Radar, no! <laughs> That's my sandwich. <laughs> Uh, it looks like Lumberjack getting the sniper rifle for his team. I don't know if that's wise. A host lancer is usually a lot more val valuable than a host. Billy <laughs> Army, man! That shot! He couldn't even see him. He just blind fires around the corner and kills him. Oh, Billy Army going large! He is getting a large Big Mac combo right now. Taking out two members, just making it look easy. Man. And Haxu getting taken out by Vigilant Sonic and Lumberjack. This battle is not Already 2-0. You want to take back that prediction? Oh, come on, BBR. No, I'm not. BBR yeah. are going to win, man. I have faith in them. They're just, they're just letting Billy Army get into the spots which he excels at, right up in your face shotgunning. Like, a player like Billy Army, you want to hard aim him and land to him and just don't let him get close to him, man. He knows how to play, like... Very close range shotgunning perfectly, but it looks like BBR are getting right on the flank, taking two of the members of, um... Oh, Vigilant just running out and getting lanted down immediately. The BBR pushes here. Oh, Vigilant Sonic getting taken down. Oh, but Array Tactical takes out Haxu. Hayabusa going in for Tactical. What can he do? Oh, Hayabusa missing the easy shots. Oh, and he gets taken down by Lumberjack. Oh, Hayabusa really playing that poorly. Can Atomic Spectator come up large? I'm going to say it one more time and then I'll stop. But no, unfortunately, he gets taken down by Tactical and Lumberjack. Lifelong friends, like Ash and Pikachu, oh. these two. Was that a rage quit? Quam, he quits. I didn't know Quincy <laughs> was playing on Quam's account, uh. but I guess... Are we going to smoke around? Are they going to smoke around it? Um, yep, it, it is going to be a smoke around, ladies and gentlemen. Mostly gentlemen, because I know ladies don't like Gears of War, because, hell, I don't know why you would. Well, they did put some... Chicks in here. 
Atomic Spectator. He's got his smoke out. Attacks with Gromio, but he takes out Spectator with a beautiful shot. Vili Army, team killing Vigil and something. What is going on? A Ray Tactical turning on his own teammates. But Vili Army takes him out with a nice point blank. Hayabusa, he's got his smoke out at spawn. Him and Hayabusa, I don't know what strategy he's going for here, but it might just work. Lumberjack seems to be confused. He just keeps going off and on the wall. What is going on here? Hatsu standing still with his smoke out. I don't know what he's going to try and achieve here, but it may be very, very, very unique. Build the army, dancing around, shooting Torfos at the wall. I, I've i never seen this type of strategy before. Well, he almost hits his own teammate. Lumberjack runs up and kills Billy Army and chases him to sudden death. It is Hayabusa versus Billy oh, Army right here. Side note, Gifts of Qualm didn't rage quit. He just thought the match was over. That, well, that's what he says anyway. <laughs> oh, good guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Arvo, you're up. Arvo. Hello, everyone. Comic hates better when he's joking. Well, uh, Scorpion loves everybody me. loves Java. He does want you. me. So, is anyone out there who wants to scrim after this? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Arvo. <laughs> uh, best, best commentator. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. I'll. I'll it seems I'll commentate better when I'm joking. If, if... But the, the thing is, like, there's not a lot to commentate on when teams are just oh. sitting still. Sir. But, so when I'm, when I'm making it up, alright, here we go. I'm gonna go hard out this round. MLG Elite commentating. <clears throat> alright, it's a 3-0 lead for team... You are Bush so big. close to saying that. I hate the, down, with the bees and their shit. Yeah, I know. It right, looks like a Ray Tactical, Billy Army, and Vigilant Sonic are going to make a top push this round. I wonder what's going to happen. Their top pushes have been extre extremely effective. Billy Army leading the charge. Like I said, you do not want to get right up in this guy's grill as he will take you out. It looks like he's on straight up against Hayabusa. Some good shots. Hayabusa evading to the left. Billy Army stunned by the smoke. He gets full red. Hayabusa's missing his shots, but he downs him. He meat shields him. Tactical's coming in, but I don't think Tactical's going to make much work here. And, Hay and Atomic Scepter takes him out with a good headshot. Um, has to be moving up. Takes out... Vigil and Sonic Lumberjack stuck in his bench with naught but a sniper. The Hatsu, he's charging in! He's charging in! He's charging in! And then he jumps over the fence and runs away. And oh! Lumberjack taking it out! But he gets taken out, unfortunately. I uh, see. BBR on the rise. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I think they might, like, somehow die. I think the, the, those streams would just come on and they'll just die of laughter. If they were listening to you in this game. I don't think anybody could be playing properly <laughs> after listening to this. <laughs> I want to watch Hair Booster, man. Wait, is he grabbing snipe? Oh no, he's just at the back. They're doing a very delay. Oh, it looks like Hair Booster watching the flank was a good idea because two members of Bushpigs were on the flank. What's going on? Billy Army, he's got his little spot blind firing around that corner. There's not much you can see because of the smoke. He's getting out his actives. He's going to move in as soon as he gets those active reloads. Yep, he's going in. He gets full red one shot. He gets through the middle, though. He's coming up behind Haksu. Does Haksu No, No, he doesn't. He takes out Haksu in the back. Can he take out Hey Boots? He one shot down to him. Beautiful play. Can he take out Quam? Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's missing a few shots. Oh, he takes a point blank. Where does Quam go? He's running from Billy Army. He's scared, man. Quam turns around. Billy Army gets out his actives. Oh, and Atomic Spectators right behind him. Billy Army doing some 180s, but unfortunately gets taken down. But who's lancering? It is Lumberjack with his host pistol. Atomic Spectator on his last down. I don't think it was wise to pick him up because there you go, Lumberjack, showing you that the pistol is just as effective as the lancer in the right hands and on the right connection. All right, we have a 1v1 between Gifts and Lumberjack. If Quam was a tree, then Lumberjack would take him down no trouble. So, oh, here we go, Quam moving up. Oh, one more he's chance. trying to get the advantage. He's hitting Lumberjack. He can hear him screaming. He's moving in. He misses a few shots. Lumberjack is on host, so he full reds him after two well played oh. shots. Quam trying to fall back here. Lumberjack pulling out the pistol and downs it when he's full red. Well played, Lumberjack. Ground walking garbage. Do you oh. concede so easily? <laughs> that, that's that's Prove very hard. To me that you are yeah. no it's the best you've ever done. Best, best yeah, you've man. ever done. Come on, Bush Beaks. Go for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bush Pigs, man, they're just playing real strong here, I feel. BBR, come on, man, I predicted a win. They're not using their lances enough. They're really just getting into these shotgun fights that they're not winning. They should have realized it by now. See, hey, look, they're doing it now. Hayabusa lancering, Spectator lancering, Haksu. What, what the fuck's Haksu? Is he at the spawn? 
He's near this one. Llama Jack gonna get rushed by Quam. Oh. Quam wants some revenge. Hey, Booster, take your three players! <laughs> the kid is a god! He is a god! Quam getting taken out by Lumberjack. <laughs> yeah, hey, Booster, always there to make me look I like an idiot. Um, you do that for yourself. For any of you who don't know, BBR play a phenomenal under pressure. So we're gonna put on the song Under Pressure by Queen just to oh, give him a fighting chance. Lumberjack, man, it's not looking good for him. Hey, Booster, shooting him in the knee with some nice little Lancer. Oh, and Lumberjack gets cut down like a like tree. trees he's meant to cut down. Yeah, man. They cannot win. Why do they resist? This one's probably the best, is that? Womp. All teams seem to be going all off. Right, it looks like Lumberjack Lumberjack is not going for the sniper rifle this round. He's going to be supporting his team. <clears throat> He's watching the flank, making sure none of the members from BBR can flank. Quam is on the flank, though. He's going to be met once again with his rival, Lumberjack. But Haksu, I mean, not Haksu, Quam, after he looked back at his chat and he re read he hates doing stupid things uh, when he's angry as fuck, after reading that, he remembers, hey, that's a stupid thing. Let's not do that, Quam. Let's just take a deep breath. Oh, wait, he's going for the flank again. He's not listening to himself. He's going in, man. He's going in. Lumberjack, not watching the flank with his host Lancer, but he's getting some nice shots in. Is Quam coming in yet? I don't think so, Quam. He's just oh. chilling. Oh, looks like Billy Army going for the rush. Vigilant Sonic takes that. Hey, Booster, can Billy Army make it matter? No, he can't. Spectator gets taken down. Oh, but where is Billy Army's teammates? He marked the flank of, um... Quam, up oh, Quam <laughs> gets killed and quits again. I don't. It's not over yet, Quam. Tell him to get back in. Oh, but tell him on the stream. Quam. <laughs> don't open up YouTube, you goon. <laughs> oh, but opening up YouTube. He's trying to go back onto the chat. Quick, pause it so I don't get capped. It's Lumberjack and it's Lumberjack and Sonic versus Haksu and Spectator. Tell him to get back in the bombs, game. It's not um, over yet. Doesn't have faith in his own team. I think it's something to do with if you have Q <laughs> in your gamer tag, you have to rage quit on Azura. Azura is a f oh, Azura makes me rage sometimes. Spec oh lumberjack man. Oh! Spectator getting some nice shots and the vigilance got his back. The Torquo has respawned. Oh man, spectator full red. They're in no position to do anything. Oh, has to quickly running away, turning tail. Oh, I don't know if Spectator's going to get out of this. Oh, he lives by the skin of his teeth. The score is 4-1. Or oh, 4-2. No sign of qualm. Lumberjack going for some floppy talk bows. The floppy talk bows aren't as effective in this game as they are, have been on the previous two. Vigilant Lumberjack playing it safe. Lumberjack looking at the trees on this map and, and visualizing Quam's cutting them down. Quam has rejoined the game. BBR have now have a have a surge of strength. Oh, Lumberjack missing the Torquebow shot. He could have ended it just then and there. <clears throat> uh, have to be just chilling. Oh, spectator. Oh, I don't know why he moved out there, man. That wasn't very smart at all. Haksu, you've got two minutes to just chill, bro. Just chill. Don't worry, Kwam, you rejoined <laughs> to leave the game again. Oh! Oh, come on! Come on, Haksu, you can beat him! You can oh, beat him, Haksu! No, you don't. I believe in you! No, no I don't. No, just, I take no, it back. No, take it back. No, My prediction it. came true! BB... Uh, Bushpigs won! Prediction true! Bushpigs won! 5-2! Uh, just like I said, won. guys! That was... That was nobody's prediction. No one made predictions that far in. <laughs> Bush pigs win. Showing that they are like clan to be feared. What's that going to put them up on the ladder now? I Is that going to put so. them in fourth? From twelfth to fourth. Now that <laughs> is them moving on up. Um, are we doing some sort of post game thing mm -hmm. or is that it? I said, are we doing I beg your pardon, buddy? post game interview thing? <coughs> yeah, get Hey Booster in here, man. I 
As a fellow commentator, I'm sure and he can speak. Four bush pigs. Uh, get lumberjack. Oh wait, oh Billy Army's not in here anymore. Wait, is he? No, he's not in here anymore. I was gonna say Billy Army lumberjack because he just is. played <laughs> out of his mind. But... And hey, Bruce is huh? in the party. Good evening. Hey, uh, how you doing, Booster? Oh, pretty devastated after that loss Pretty there. devastated, shattered, and torn down. The reputation of BBR has just been taken... has been shat on well, by say, a pig hey, in a bush. How do you feel, Hedrusa? You did call you a god. Uh, I just wanted to put that out there. I uh, did. When you got a triple you. kill, I said the man... I yeah. screamed, the man is a god. <laughs> Yeah, no, um... Haksu sending me a message saying GG, GG Haksu. Well played. GG <laughs> didn't play, but yeah, GG. Uh, no, G -G. we just kind of went to pieces, like, um... I could tell, man. On the, the host, like, I couldn't really do much on that last connection, like, I bet I did get that triple, which is kind of dodgy, but a lot of the times, when I was in 1v1 shotties, it was like, mm -hmm. different things were happening on oh, my you screen than what have been happening on your screen and stuff, so... I don't know. Hey, Booster, um, coming up with excuses, typical. I'm typical. not coming up with excuses. <laughs> in teamwork. If I was lagging, we could have adopted different methods. So when, when the time came, bush pigs rose up and stood up to the occasion and beat us. That's all I can say. I guess it's 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 like it's like how it was in Gears One. You'd verse a team on host, and they would get gridlock and clock tower in their host, and it's like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I don't mind, like, losing to Bush Figs. They're a team, like, they kind of deserve this win. They've come they put in the, They put in the effort, definitely. They're always on, they're always screaming. Like, no one can take yeah, that away from them. They're always ready to play. Like, they're a respectable team. Not many people respect them in the community. Um, but they, like, do deserve respect. They came close to beating you guys, or I think they did beat you guys. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, they beat us on the when, Muspet ladder, I think. Yeah, when we played them last time, we had to go to, like, 50 tiebreakers. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Mike still was telling me. Yeah, so, yeah, just coming up today to play, I don't know, like, we did, we actually tried very hard to win this match, we scrimmed for like, oh no, we, we scrimmed a lot coming up to this match, we strutted for a bit, but, I don't know, um, I was always, it's always invested. more painful when you lose a game straight after another one, like, I remember when, um, yeah. we lost to Legacy, then we lost to Malice, then we lost to, um, I think it was your team, then we lost to, yeah. we lo lost to UGA, it's just like, fuck. What are we even doing yeah. here? But then, once, of, but that, once you win again, you go back on a win streak, but you have nights like tonight where your players just aren't playing well, like, yeah. our match, prime example, it seemed that Quam was having, was just getting a bit restless towards the end there. Yeah. Just wanted to get out of there before it was over, man. <laughs> yeah, nah, in there. um, like, it's all good and well and stuff, but we won our first two maps, which, I can't remember what maps they were, um, but... We kind of won the... Oh, Mercy and... Like, what was yeah, the other Mercy map, Mike? Ball. I can't remember. Thrash Ball. Yeah, we won uh, Mercy and Thrash Ball. Like, we had a lot of, um, like, control. But on that Thrash Ball, we kind of, like, choked when it was 4-4. But, um, I don't know, just the playing style of Bush Pigs, which was... It, like, they don't play, like, with flair, if you know what I mean. Like, they're not all known as, like, super quick wall bouncers. They're not all known as super efficient shotgunners like leaf for pressure and stuff like that, but yep. they just do the basics well, like lance string and stuff, and their game style is so passive. I, I There was a couple of moments that game where I was actually screaming at them because they have boom shot, but they're busy just derping around with it. They don't do anything... Yeah, I, I, I was, I was screaming. On Bullet Marsh, I was screaming a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they, you have a boom shot, but... But they wait um, for you guys to make the mistake and they exploit Yeah, it. that's it. Like, but because, like, the top teams are all so aggressive, when you come up against a super passive team, you're kind of like, what the hell do I do? Like, we just didn't... I don't know. We couldn't counteract their passiveness on their, on their host and in the tiebreaker, which led to us losing. So, back to the drawing board, I guess, when it comes to that kind of play style. And Lumberjack, how are you feeling after that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's a good <coughs> victory, man. Yeah, like a lot, of, a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people were um, favoring BBR just because they've they've had a really strong lineup. They've have you guys beaten Malice before, Hey Busa? Uh We've come close. We have come close to beating Legacy and Malice, taking them both to tiebreakers. Yeah. I think. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I don't want to take anything away from you guys. But a lot of people were favoring BBR in this match, and you guys came out ahead pretty convincingly, I must say, on a few of the maps on your host. How do you feel about that, Lumberjack? 
Um, first of all, I'd just like to say a great game to Hayabusa and his team. It was, it was like we were, we were pretty much shivering uh, with our knees in the first two maps, you know, because uh, <laughs> yeah, we usually Murphy thought him. that Mercy was our strongest map, and you came out and was it 4-1? Oh, sorry, 5-1? Speaking of Mercy, yeah. did you actually think like it was that? a neutral? Probably. Yeah, <laughs> and then the after map? that we were... Uh, I, yeah, I thought it was a neutral host, and then I... And then going in a thrash ball, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so, I oh, so uh, anyway, um, but so yeah, and then on thrash ball, like halfway through thrash ball, and it was like four one. We kind of thought, all right, we gotta try something different to our usual strat and mix it up maybe. And we felt we were playing really passive as well. Like we're usually more aggressive, as uh, uh, Rogi might know, because we screen themselves, and we don't usually play that passive, but. Like, we got pretty shaken up from the first two maps, so we just thought um, when, when it was our host, we might just try and play it as safe as we could. Because uh, we thought, going into the match, we thought, yeah, we probably had a higher chance of losing, but then we also thought to ourselves, you know, maybe, um, you know, if we tried really hard and dug deep, we might come away with a fairly good result, and it turns out we did. Um, yeah. But, <coughs> yeah, you guys uh, played really well in your host. Just, just showing... Just, no, I don't want to say like the power of host, but yeah, just showing the mindset as well because DBR, they they couldn't they couldn't just move up on the host lancer and the fact that they know that they can't move up on the host lancer meaning means they won't try it. Yeah. So it's kind of like you're you're I allowed just, a little bit of leeway there. Yeah, I just remember on the first round of Azura when I was hanging back and I forgot who it was pushed behind. I was full red, but I still happened to. Lancer him down. I just, I was like, yeah, I yeah, never, yeah. I never play host. I'm never usually the host. Um, but um, just, yeah. Now go on. Just another thing as well. Like coming into the final round, like um, me and Quams, who are kind of like, well, Quams is a flashy player. He's the kind of he plays claw, so he's known for like wall bouncing, known for like the tricky kind of stuff in the one v ones. Yep. Um, I know he was sustaining like a little bit of lag, which when you get a flashy player like Quam who can't play his natural game because he's getting that little bit of movement lag, that would put you off a lot. Like, as I said, I was more adept to kind of lancering on a zero. Like, I know I got that shotgun triple, but that was simply because um, it was a jag. <laughs> I'd like to take you know, like credit, but I know it was a little bit fluky with the lag we were getting, but. I just felt we couldn't play our natural game, um, or me and Quam's natural game anyway, but... No, there's nothing to take away from... <laughs> then move to a real state. <laughs> nah. <No. laughs> oh, it's all right. Hey, this is normally he's used to it. Dude. That's how he plays now. <laughs> yeah, I remember... Oh, hey, Vista, there was one round on Mercy. You were full red and Tactical ran up and he point-blanked you, and you got downed and you killed him. And everyone was like, lol, W power, W power. I actually remember that now. Yeah, that, that was, was very, that yeah. was brutal. Like, if I was tactical, I would, I would quit straight up. Like, so, yeah. did you watch Midnight? I'd move, I'd move to know? WA, man. I'd, I'd be off. I'd be in WA playing Gears. That's what I'd do. Did you watch Midnight's gameplay? Like, when I, you like, were like I said, I haven't, um, I haven't been able oh, okay. to. I'm pretty close to being capped, so I didn't Speaking want to get capped for the capped, legacy I'm match, about to be so capped, probably. I haven't been looking After at After all videos. that waiting time from um, Darkseid. <laughs> oh, shit. <geez. laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, um, no, it was a good Looks match. Looks like Tack wants in. <laughs> yeah, nah, don't let him in. Oh, do you He's you the need... biggest bush pig out. Nah, you need uh, to go, Mike, if you're going to get capped, like, do you want to wrap it up? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, no, no, yeah. I'm just trying to fit in. Go no, I'm, I'm, really getting, I'm getting you here tomorrow, 500 gig. Um, so my dad can stick with the remainder. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Can you fang me 100 gig? Because <laughs> nah, I'm only on 50, It's all mine. Bro. I'll still be able to use it, don't <laughs> worry. Just lend it. Lend it this way, bruh. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello, Ray. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Tactical, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job, make it awkward. I thought yeah, it was yeah. Aria Y. But no, like, what? in the first two maps, you kind of got, like, a false sense of, like, security, because we did, as you said, we did, like, 5-1-year, you know, whatever it was, on Mercy, yeah. which we actually considered to be one of our weakest maps. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, that's, then... that's the thing with versing different teams, because 
like we we've beaten Malice and we've beaten Legacy on Mercy countless times, and then just the other day we just got we got five owed by um, Bush Pigs on Mercy, and then you guys just five won them on Mercy. Like yeah, that, that's yeah. how we thought it was our strongest map. It just like, depends oh, on who you're it. playing. It just well, depends on like, who you're playing, man. Everyone's got their own unique strategies and way of thinking we, and way of handling situations. We played Malice on their host on Hotel, and we actually 5-0'd them on their own host. And yeah, I was up, expecting you guys to win Hotel. You thrashed us on Hotel as well. Yeah, I don't understand. We were just trying different things. Okay, um... um whoa. <laughs> just, yeah, okay, oh, fine. Like, <laughs> that it. That um, it. I'm uh, no, um... <laughs> Yeah, I just want to thank Billy Army for that strat. He pulled it out of his ass, and oh my god, I can't believe it worked. <laughs> He's just like, oh yeah, let's do this, and then um, we're all just like, whoa, 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 that that's not gonna work, and then it works three rounds in a row, and we're just like, mm hmm, yeah. <laughs> well, I kind of made an angry outburst at the start of that mat that angry last outburst. round, but. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening now with BBR. Um, Who is this I yeah. Rao guy? Yeah, we saw that. Arvo was like, "Fuck off, cunt!" <laughs> what happened? <sighs> He's like, oh, he wrote something big shit. Gears, Yeah, he says that begs the question: Does Gears Three require any real skill if a team like Bush Pigs can simply beat BBR? But I don't know where he's getting the false idea that BBR, Dark Sided, Malice, and Legacy, or maybe not Legacy, but BBR, Dark Sided, and Malice are just leaps and bounds ahead of teams like Bush Pigs. Like, we're not. We're all around the same the level. The only reason, that's what I mean, like, Bush Pigs needed this win to get some respect. Like, they're not all well known players. Like, I know that I didn't really know of you guys before I played you, like, three weeks ago. But, um, yeah. like, you're. Good enough in terms of like your teamwork and like your map positioning and stuff like that. But like one thing I noticed which you do bring is just that ridiculous passive play. Like, <laughs> uh, like if you played that passively in like Gears One, for instance, because I played that more than Gears Two, without stopping power, you'd kind of get destroyed. And oh, definitely. But yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Like, if you guys obviously know how to do it. I don't know if that's from Gears Two or if that's just the way you guys naturally play the game. Okay. But well. A, yeah, a lot of a, a lot of other teams have criticised us for trying too hard, um, and I gotta say, yeah, we tried. Hard wait, we tried really map. hard to beat you guys. Like we were scrimming like every team for those five maps, like nonstop. Yeah. So it's not like we just pulled this out of our ass. We've been trying really hard to get this. Oh, he did pull it. Um, no, I said, he's got something up his ass. What do you got <laughs> up your ass, tactical? Share it with the viewers. Victory. There is like. Perfect. Uh, there is one thing as well, like, which is kind of always in the back of my mind when I'm on stream, is I'd rather lose and play in a, an attractive form of gears, like a lot of shotgun battles, a lot of like tense moments, yep. than have a lot of set, like, than have a lot of draws, like, because I remember I was talking to um, Tagen, who's tourniquet about it, and he, I don't know what map they're playing, I think they're playing Dry Dock, and him, they were playing Legacy, I think it was. And they were just running to snipe every time because I'd rather play a quick, like messy kind of game of gears than like a really clean and slow way. Like I always have that in the back of my mind on stream that I have to play aggressive or flashy, otherwise viewers will just close the window and go do something else. Basically, I don't. No, you should see. You should see the that, chat. But... Like I, half the time, I don't even think they're watching yeah. the game. I think they're just hey, chatting Tim, in the chat. You need to change the name of the stream. No, it's I, Legacy I Best it. Dark. I updated it. Bitch, you just have to be. refresh first. Um, but I just want to say oh, something okay. to the guy in the chat who thinks competition is right. just between Legacy, Malice, Darkseid and BBR. Wait till um, Midnight's tournament. Like, I've never heard of you, so I don't know if you're a good player or not, or if you get into this, like, game before. I'm not sure if any of you guys in this party know him. But, um, wait till Midnight's tournament, because all no. the teams are going to be playing seriously no. in there. All the teams are going to be playing their best. So, wait till then. Yeah, they're going to bring their A game. They're bringing their A game. The best stuff. They're going to be going large. I don't um, understand. I'm, What's the deal with Midnight Tournament? What's actually what do you mean? It's going to be like the first it, it, official action a, like tournament yeah. with um, placings and uh, pools and uh, like, you know, well, like... Is there like a date though, or is there like a pool Right play, now, we're, know, we're, season, looking, but... we're looking February. We're looking February once everyone's finished, um, once everyone's back from their holidays, once everyone's, you know, back on Xbox yeah. and has their like, routine. Um, has like a routine around their other... It's like, basically finals. 
Well, we're, do, we're, doing, we're doing finals for CG. Like, we've got that planned out as well. We're just working on maybe getting some nice little prizes for the okay. winners and feel like that. Like, I don't know, um, Microsoft points, maybe um, the weapon skins for the guns or character skins, just shit like that that Midnight can get a hold of. Yeah, well, it's going to be good. <clears throat> sure he's got so, um, some kind of pull with, um, you know, the gears people and whatnot. Yeah, man. So we're really, we're looking to get a finals happening, but the problem is with the finals is there hasn't really been enough games to accurately represent a top eight. Like, like, yeah. like what just happened tonight, like people, like, look at the ladder and they say Legacy 1, Malice 2, Dark Side 3, BBR 4, and then Bush Pigs are 12, but now they're fourth. So, like, there hasn't been enough matches to accurately represent we still don't, like, um, even if a we, top eight. We barely have a top eight. We have like what ten active teams. That's that's a guess. So like, yeah. Like, oh, really, like no, really you have active more than ten. Teams. Like, yeah, we got, we so, got some, more than ten. Yeah, you got like, more than ten. Oh, yeah. really active? Yeah, because um, yeah. you've got other teams which are like on holidays now, so they won't be coming back for like uh, a few weeks now. Yeah. But you've got like new teams like Onyx. Um, Oh, yeah, uh, uh, new breed soldiers. I think they've dropped from the ladder now. Yeah, uh, they dropped from. You got that new team I've something? seen that Zeal oh, unleashed. One day, one day, Tame Boys and Craig are actually going to stay in their team for more than a few seconds. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, and Suicide and, Squad. And, yeah, so, and Suicide hopefully Clutch to um, leave his Zeal current unleashed. team again. You got like other teams that started up like um, Flubberlet and like um, Execute and stuff that just like on holidays and they're going to come back. I haven't heard anything about Airplay, but do they still play? Airplay. I they, think they only play do TXP, oh, no. really. They're all from New Zealand, yeah. and they only really play TXP mostly. Oh, and the Toxic Clan. Oh my God, I've got nothing against them besides their connection. It is just dreadful. <laughs> like warping around the map and stuff. Oh man, people oh, like. WA, bro. <laughs> if these guys like yeah. must have lived in the center of the earth. It was that bad. It was just terrible. <laughs> Are we going to wrap yeah. up this uh, live stream pretty yeah, soon? Yeah, man. Yeah, we're wrapping it up. Hey, Adusa. Um, bad, bad luck. Better luck next time, man. Hey, BBR to bounce back. Um, Bush, you guys must be ecstatic with that win. Like you guys all played happy. phenomenal. Some really good, some really good shutouts. Like Bullet Marsh. I was, ex I was expecting you guys to win Bullet Marsh because you gave us a run for our money, and we just and we um shut down BBR and Bullet Marsh. Azura. I personally was thinking of um, BBR to win because of their. I, I don't. I don't want to say superior, but a bit like more accurate and team fire with their lances. Yeah. Because I know Hayabusa and Hatsu have both been playing Halo for a long time, and I think they played a bit of Halo together, and that's where the team shot really comes into it. So I'm yeah. sure their comms would be top notch with like team shot on the lances. So yeah, I was expecting. Um, Azura to fare a little bit better for you guys, but once again, great victory for Bush Pigs and better luck next time, BBR. <laughs> and I'm out, yo! Um, before I end the stream, I just wanted to say um, to okay. the viewers, just um, follow follow this channel. Um, me and Lumberjack and maybe Tactical if he ever decides to you know come back into the streaming business. Um, so just just follow just follow this channel because yeah, all the major better. streams will be on this channel. So yeah, just follow it so you can keep up to date. Thanks for watching.